Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part five of this house build. Let's get let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to create the laundry room. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Let's go back to level one. And the last thing we're gonna do here in the laundry room is let's go to section again, and then select this, click on in place and then create extrusion and we're just going to pick this wall and i just want to add a backing for this shelf so i'm gonna click on rectangle and finish this up and then click on finish and we have the backing for that so after this uh, what we could do is let's go back to level one um, I'm planning to create the backyard so uh, we're going to add in the the pool and the deck um, but before we do that let's add in our um, overall perimeter right here by creating the border wall so here I'm gonna click on architecture click on wall and let's add in an exterior wall number two so right here create edit type duplicate this will be an exterior wall number two but this will be our border uh, maintain the 200 and then for the exterior um, material we're going to select something different right here so let's use uh, masonry so i'm gonna click on brick common gray apply okay and then okay and then here we're going to just add uh, we're not gonna connect it yet because i'm gonna change the height so here it's saying base constraint level one but we're gonna change that to ground level for sure and then here after we're we added this one this will be around around 38 or 3700 and then let's move this one all the way right here and then connect, before we connect it um, let's fix this one first so, so this one is too near to this one so after that go to 3d and then here what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this one um, and then click on tab it it's going to select all of this exterior wall and then after that we need to base constraint this to ground floor so it's it, this one got extended and then this one as well all of this we need to be base constraint to ground floor at the same time this one that we have we are going to top offset this one to around 1500 so negative so at the moment we're going to leave it like this so this will be the look um, and then obviously we're going to add gate around here uh, maybe just a thousand just to be able to have that height there and then we'll, we're going to change this to grills and then let's go to ground floor and then we could start adding floors for the backyard and then connecting all of this all together so after that um, we're going to create another extrusion um, but let's create the wall first so wall ex, ex, uh, edit type duplicate this this will be exterior wall number three and then change this to 100 and this one should be something tile or the 
um, for the pool. So here, let's look for a tile. So we're gonna use this ceramic tile. And then after that, use rectangle. And then just put the rectangle right here in front. It's not going to be visible because probably of the offs, uh, of the view range. But let's do it again uh, or let's look at it in 3D. So let's go back here, wall, exterior wall, and then add it right about here. So we want it right here. Um, so top constraint should be ground and then base constraint can be minus minus well, around 1000 or 1500. Let's put 1500 first and then here ground. And then a little bit of top offset right there. So if we check it, it will look like that. And then go back to ground. And then here, what we can do is add the deck first. So we're going to add a deck. Um, so here we could click on floor first, edit duplicate floor number two and then this one should be a wood material let's use 32c blue lamb and then here we're going to add the deck connected right here What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some space right here and then around around to this side. So I want to give it some space. And then TR, trim and extend, and then trim and extend on all of this. Click on finish, and then let's look at it at 3D and see how it looks. I'm planning to put this one to level 1. And then we're going to create a stairs for this as well. But let's go and add the grounding for this. So we're going to add another floor. Edit, duplicate, floor number three. And this one should be concrete. I'm going to put precast okay okay and then okay and then this one i'm gonna pick line right here and then this will be same as the rest so trim and extend trim and extend right here and then right here and i want to add it onto this side as well And then click on finish and then if we check it into our 3d it will look like this because this is the ground we have this one probably ground as well but this one actually we need to put this one to level one I think that's correct and then we just need to add um, another stairs right here on this side and this side as well 
So, and we need to edit this, edit boundary, because we need to add an opening onto this wall. So the pool wall needs some editing. And then this pool wall, I just want to double check again. I want to copy, so ceramic tile. We're going to add a model in place, a generic model. And then this one, extrusion. Let's add an extrusion right here. Use rectangle and then change this to ceramic tile. Click on finish and then we could use this and then push it all the way down and then give it some space right there. After that, go back here, create another extrusion, but this time I want it to be water. So type in water right here and then pull it up, apply OK, and then let's add water right here. Click on finish, go to 3D, pull it down a little bit, and then a little bit on top. and then click on finish so now we have our water and then we have something like that i just want to finish off this video by adding the stairs under our deck um, what we could do actually is to select this one and then height offset this to so instead of us adding um, a stair right here what we could do is offset this to negative 200 so it will look like this so that's the step for this and we're going to add only steps right here so it's a lot uh, better so either adding everything on uh, all the perimeter right here it's better to just add it in front I just want to double check um, what material we use right here into this floor. So edit Gulam 32, Lulam. So what I'm going to do is instead of using this one, I'm going to go to our ground floor. And then here I'm going to make a model in place so that it's easier to do and then here I'm gonna extrude set pick a plane I'm gonna select this one and then here I'm gonna extrude it 200 and then change this material and then click here and then we could just have it right about here and then click on finish and then finish and if we check it will look like that so another step that we could just increase the size if we want to and as you can see it looks much better it's not something that we just add and it will look like a deck so I'm happy with what we did there and then why not add the grass portion right here I'm planning to because this will be our uh, walkway right here and then this will be so the grass portion right here is only this one and then here and then anything else will be different so right here what I'm gonna do is click on floor and I want to understand everything so I want to show it right away and then instead here we could do lightweight 
press OK and then OK. Um, we're going to have for the carport right here and then we could just select this one right here for the entrance and then maybe right here as well so I'm gonna drag this all the way here trim and extend trim and extend right here and then right there and then what we could do is we could just have a, a walkway right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create something that looks like this I think that's much better AL align it right here and then SL to slice them and then TR to trim and extend and then click on finish and you just need to double check okay so trim and extend right here and then lastly we need another floor this will be the one with the grass duplicate okay edit type this one type it as grass and then select the grass pull it up apply ok and then ok and then here we could just add the grass right on this side and then click on finish and then let's look at it at 3d and see how it looks so we have, we have our walkway right here with a patch of grass we can make this nice and then after that we have the gate here and then um, another uh, gate here for um, the walkway and then obviously we're going to add in um, our something right here for for a stairs so we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. So thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.